This is the highly renowned clutch kick, a simple technique that has many different uses. In this video I'm going to tell you all you need to know about the clutch kick and at the end I'll be showing you exactly how to do it and the situations you can utilize it in. So make sure you stay tuned because you won't want to miss out on this one. So what is a clutch kick? Clutch kicking, as the name implies, is when a driver depresses then releases the clutch pedal whilst keeping the throttle open in order to brake traction in a rear wheel drive car. The action often happens so quickly and violently that it looks as if they are kicking the clutch pedal. The shock from the drivetrain disengaging and then quickly re-engaging causes the rear wheels to brake traction, starting a drift. Clutch kicking is most useful at lower speeds. When you are going slow on a high traction surface like tarmac, just mashing the throttle in your typical road car often isn't enough to break traction. This is why the clutch kick is very popular for drifting where the speeds are relatively low. It's a technique that is essential when drifting a lower horsepower car, which doesn't have sufficient torque to break traction on acceleration alone. Unless you're driving an unrealistic car with bucket loads of instant torque, most cars don't tend to brake traction unprovoked, especially in the dry. In fact, we can even hear professional drifters use the clutch kick in their 1000 horsepower drift monsters. You can hear the distinct sound of the clutch kick in literally every single run in Formula Drift. The sound of the engine rev spiking. Once you know what to listen for, you'll start noticing that literally everyone clutch kicks. However, it's a common misconception that the clutch kick is purely a drift technique. In fact, clutch kicking has been around for as long as humans have been racing automobiles. We can also use it on grip runs in a variety of situations, but I'll be covering all of the grip and drift clutch kick techniques next, so make sure you stay tuned. Clutch kicking is often done alongside a weight transfer technique, however for beginners it can also be used to initiate into a corner on its own. For this reason, it's a great technique to learn when you first start out, as it can be practiced at any speed, even when you're stationary. Once you get used to doing it at low speeds, you can then scale it up with your ability and start performing it at higher speeds. For many, the clutch kick is the start of learning how to donut the most basic of all drift techniques. So let's go over how to clutch kick initiate into a corner. But first I want to take up to 10 seconds of this video to remind you that only a tiny percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed. So if you end up enjoying the video or find it helpful, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more Assetto Corsa Togate content. Thank you. So we approach a corner we'd like to drift. We turn into the corner slightly, then we depress the clutch whilst keeping our foot on the throttle, causing the revs to rise. Just as quickly, we need to release the clutch pedal in one swift motion. This will break traction and cause the rear of the car to accelerate and pivot around the front end. As the car rotates, we then need to turn the wheel into the slide. Turn right to go left. If you're going hard enough left. Thanks, Doc Hud. Anyway, after turning the wheel into the bend, we will notice the car slide towards the outside of the corner and the exit of the corner. We need to keep feathering the throttle to keep the car in oversteer. Too little throttle and you'll straighten up and too much and you'll just spin out. As we approach the end of the drift, we need to gradually wind off the steering lock so the tires are pointing straight and then we can continue to accelerate away from the corner. Congratulations, you just did a clutch kick drift. However, not only can we use the clutch kicking technique to initiate a drift, but we can also utilize the clutch kick in the middle and exit of corners, so make sure you stay tuned for that. So just how is the clutch kick useful on the middle of corners? Well, for example, if you're doing a grip run and you come across a hairpin, it's technically faster to drift around just half of the corner to get the car rotated a lot faster than if you were to grip the entire thing. So let me show you how this is done. Firstly, we approach the corner and take a very shallow line. We actually turn in a lot earlier than usual, so the front of the car is at the very apex of the hairpin. Next, we drop the clutch, let the revs build and let it out. 
This will get the rear of the car swung around the hairpin and it will carry you through to the exit. But wait, there's more. We can also use the clutch kick mid corner in a drift. Just like how we use the clutch kick to initiate a drift, if we feel as though our car is losing angle or straightening up for a corner, we can actually clutch kick whilst drifting to give our drive wheels an instant boost of power. We can use this to give our drift more angle or simply increase its speed. Just kick the clutch whilst you're already in a drift, there's not much else to it. Up next I'll be covering how to use the clutch kick on the exit of a corner. This technique is similar to the previous in that it is primarily used in grip runs. If you take a corner and feel like you're understeering out of it, you can actually do a tiny clutch kick just to get the rear of the car rotated round and completely negate the understeer. Unlike all of the other techniques here, we don't need to be aggressive with the clutch kick and we can even press the clutch just 50% with a tiny bit of throttle. With this technique, we don't want to enter a drift. We just want to get the rear of the car scooted towards the exit of the corner. This is just a handy little tip you can use if you ever feel like you're understeering into a guardrail. Finally is using the clutch kick under acceleration. If you're low in the revs and the car is struggling to build speed, we can actually use a clutch kick to our advantage. As we've already learned, the clutch kick sends an instant boost to the drive wheels. Therefore, if we're slow out of the exit of a corner, for example, we can use a quick clutch kick to increase the revs and therefore the acceleration of the car. And if one clutch kick isn't enough, we can do multiple to get the car shifting. So that was all you could possibly need to know about the clutch kick. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to drop a like, let me know what you think in the comments and subscribe for more Toge content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.